Cheers, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday morning edition of Coffee Table Titans. And there's no booze because we're in a doctor's office on media day. And it's bullshit, but we're going to do it anyway. So we have here Mitch Raposo and Aaron Hughes, both fighting in two weeks on June 17th in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Mitch Raposo, like, I don't know, I could be his daddy so young and he's making his <laughs> debut. And Aaron Hughes is making his uh, third try getting in the win column. Finally coming back off an 18 month layoff. How are you guys feeling two weeks out? And as always, President Mike Bear, my partner Rich Santiago. Who also fights. Who also fights. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. But anyways, 18 months, you're back in it. How are you feeling? Feeling great, man. Um, I'm actually coming off of a back surgery, but uh, feeling great now. Weight's good, diet's good, and uh, in pretty good shape right now, too. Nice, nice. And debut. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, so. Are you still in high school? Yeah. I just had prom last night, so. <laughs> From prom to an amateur Fresh debut. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's kind of crushing it at a young age. Yeah. So are you a junior, junior or a senior? Senior. Okay, okay. Yeah? yeah. Still, yeah, graduate I, next week. You prom, graduation, I'm making the debut. All right, is that even legal? <laughs> like 18 years old, 18 years old. It doesn't yeah. matter, like. Yeah. Like <laughs> Make sure you're 18. I've actually had, uh, I think, um, it was a kid who was a junior in high school that fought for us because he was 18. Actually, uh, Bobby Baker, uh, he was a junior in high school um, and he fought. And I, I always, I remember leading up to that fight, I was like, how cool is that? Like, if I was a fighter in high school, I'd be like, Oh yeah, you guys have fun like throwing that ball on the field. I'll be in a cage fighting. Yeah. <laughs> like how automatic credibility you get with people in school like that. You're yeah. cage fighting on weekends. Well, the credibility's yeah. in the ears right there. At 18 years old, you're already looking at Dumbo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's getting there, man. It's getting there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Aaron, you know, uh, obviously you got a you fight came off, you know, coming up 18 uh, months. You know, you had back surgery. I didn't even know about that. So like that's that's kind of news to me. Yeah. Man. Um, you know, what does this fight, like, what does it mean to you coming up? Like, like are you excited about it? Um, you know, you're fighting John Payne. For those who don't know, he's fighting John Payne. Um, you know, John Payne is, is kind of a cool story. I think I've talked about him once or twice on, on our podcast, um, you know, about what Cage Sides is about. It's not about just getting guys on the show that want to fight that have aspirations of being in the UFC. It's the guys who want to fight once or fight twice or a guy like John Payne, which is usually my, my speech, who's 53 years old, and it's a bucket list thing that he just wants to fight. 53? Yes, 53 years old. So that's his opponent. So you can take it. That's that's my intro on your on your fight, John Payne. I do mention him often, but it's just kind of what Cage Side is about. It doesn't matter what your goals are. If you want to fight, we have a platform for you. Um, so John Payne has actually personally asked to fight me like three times. So uh, he's finally getting what he asked for, man. So uh, we're going to put on a damn good sh show on June 17th. Yeah, that's nice. What, what, Richie? Uh, you know, um, for you, obviously, you're a fighter as well. Like, does that add mo extra motivation? Like, when somebody asks for you, does it? Does, does like, I'll ask both of you guys. Like, does does that add extra motivation, or is it just another day in the office? Yeah, I mean, I think if if somebody asks to fight you, I think you got you got to like man down. Such if they ask for an ass kicking, you got to oblige them. So, uh, has anybody ever asked for you? Uh, no, nah, not yet, unfortunately, but we'll see. Well, actually, no. Razzle was asking me for a while, but I was asking for him. Me and him went back and forth, but either way, that was one of the fights where it was like, that fight gave me so much more motivation because he wanted to fight me, I wanted to fight him, so going into that fight was just like... Did any of that go through your mind after you beat him? Like, ha, sucker, I, I got that. Kinda, I mean, hey, you know, gracious in, what is it, gracious in victory, humble in defeat, but, you I think know. it's the other way around. Is it? Gracious in defeat, humble Either way, in I mean, after I beat him, it was kinda like, all right, after all that shit talking, I mean, I can't, I can't lose to this kid, you know what I mean, so. So I guess Aaron, so he, he kinda gave his input on yeah. it. What's your, what's your thoughts? Well, about? actually, John Payne's teammate, um, Joe Smith, actually, um, called me out too, so uh, it always adds extra fire and motivation, man, when someone calls you out, so he's going to get exactly what he needs on June 17th. Did he call you out before your fight with him, or did he call you out again, like, to rematch you? No, uh, That's before you, uh, uh, Joe Smith, didn't Joe? you fight him before? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he, like, called me out for my first fight. So. Alright, alright, alright. And then John Payne, like, messaged me on Facebook, like, hey bro, you want to fight? 
<laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, all right. Sure. <laughs> He's trying to take my job. Jeez, <laughs> I'm supposed to say, "Hey, bro, you want to fight?" He's <laughs> taking my job from me. I guess it makes it easier, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. I should, huh? I should send him a matchmaking for you. I guess. <laughs> Are you fighting Marat Kapui? No, he pulled out. He did. Oh last week. no, I was looking forward to that because I remember seeing him fight yeah. the last card against uh, yeah. my, my, my Wayne Galvin. Yeah. Wayne yeah. Galvin, yeah. yeah. And that was a great fight. Good Thai boxer. Good yeah. cardio. Good ball, man. 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 Good ball, Actually, I, I, I'm like a child. The funny thing is, uh, when I'm Bobby Baker, when Bobby Baker fought for us, I actually said that to him because he yeah. he was in a, a fight of the night performance and these mm -hmm. guys went at it. And I actually and he was pretty badly concussed, so I told his dad. I said, if you need me to write a note for him to miss school on Monday, <laughs> I was like, I'm glad to do it. Um, but obviously, you know, Mitch, um, you know, we're looking for somebody. You know, M Rock fought. I think a week or two ago, he uh, sustained a cut, so that's what's holding him up oh, from the fight. Right. Um, you know, you know, don't let this kid fool you because he's got this little pretty boy, eighteen-year-old face. Like, you know, he's he's a solid fighter. So oh, I've actually true. offered it out to a couple guys that have declined, um, and some guys that even have more fights. You know, have three, four fights have declined him. So, wow. um, you know, it's it's we're working on it. Um, now that I know he had prom. <laughs> graduation and then the next day you know next weekend was supposed to be his fight that puts a little bit more pressure on me now because like I don't want to let this poor kid down now it's like shit <laughs> he had his whole month of June planned out with all these momentous uh, occasions and now I'm going to let him down great thanks yeah. Yeah. Uh, Meatloaf said two to three ain't bad uh, there you go he doesn't know who Meatloaf is you don't? Oh, <laughs> kids these days kids these days uh, so uh, there you go Meatloaf? Really? It's one of the best albums of all time. Oh God. God of the hell. Oh, oh Christ. I bet it's like, like, they probably played that song at your prom, you know? Like, probably not. When the guy's sitting on one side of the I dance floor not. and the girl's like, not I want to know right now, do you love me? Mike, your age is showing. Hey, Andy probably, he made the Meatloaf reference, not me. Anyways. Hey, you gotta bring up like Kendrick Lamar or something. I don't, I don't know, know that. Is. I don't even listen to that. That's uh, that's, that's I thought he was Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. No. Uh, I thought he was a basketball player, not a rapper. He is a rapper. Oh, yeah. Something don't, I couldn't. Day. I couldn't pick him out of a crowd. I don't know what any of them sound like. This like Kanye, any of them, like sounds just like the same. What do you listen to? Do you love me? <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys listen to? All right, we, here we go. We got some young guys on the couch. Let's help us old I'm guys. I'm more like a few years older. Listen. I'm going to go first. You listen to completely different music than me. I listen Go-yaddy. to, I mean, go. I pretty much listen to everything. Um, I like old school rock. And, uh, so you know Meatloaf. No. You don't know old school rock. <laughs> I listen to like. How do you say Guns that? I listen Roses, to old school. <laughs> Guns and Roses, Motley Crue, sure. stuff like that. Yeah. Gotcha. But I also listen to hip hop. Like, I like Drake. Hold on, you sent me a Snapchat last night of your walkout song. What was your walkout song again? Uh, Shipping Up to Boston by Dropkick Murphy. Okay, okay, okay. That's so there you go, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, young, young guy. That's just like the new kind of new music. The yeah, Wiggles. I mean, like, you guys have heard like Little Uzi, A Boogie. Yes, Mano. Hold on, little Uzi, guys. is that the guy that's my my uh <laughs> my fourteen year old <laughs> son? He goes, um, what's that freaking song? I don't know. All my friends are dead. Is that the one? No, it's a yes, popular it's song. A I think it's like a little yakky or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> a little yakky or something like that. I don't know. They got stupid ass names. Here. Hold on, my my uh, I spy. That's my kids. Always are like I, hate I that. spy. Oh, cool. Who's Kyle. that? Who's that? That's Kyle. Kyle. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, pops. What are you listening? To? Uh, definitely pops. don't listen to My 14 year old son, yeah, pops. I don't listen to Uzi. Uh, uh, your, your son goes to high school with him and he's fighting. Come on, who listens to old man? Uh, I will admit that I listen to boy bands. I'm a big. Um, I love um, back in the day, listen to like NSYNC, Justin Timberlake, Backstreet Boys. I actually seen Don't be laughing. Constant. You always request singing those on karaoke nights. Actually, with the Rat Street Boys. You guys, you, you think I'm kidding. I'll, here you go. I'll pull out my Pandora right now, and I'll tell you what's on it. He'll be so, out. Brian McKnight Radio is my number one played um, 
Do you even know who Brian McKnight is? No. 90s R&B. Best stuff. If you don't know, go listen to Brian McKnight Radio. I got Brian McKnight Radio. I got BB Mac Radio. I got Boy Band Radio. I got DMX Radio. Uh, pop and Hip Hop Power Workout. And Hip Hop Barbecue Radio, who my wife put on my uh, Pandora. It's all starting to make sense. So, uh, there you go. Oh, I don't even know what this is. I didn't even mean to play it. Scared to be lonely by Martin Garrix and Dude Reaper. Oh, that's today's hits. I'm sorry. All right, so they they have it. Those are my. Uh, Anyways. <laughs> hey, whatever bolts you float. Whatever bolts you float. Hey, anybody wants to say anything about my music selection? Don't try to front and hate like you don't listen to the same shit. <laughs> uh, what do you listen to, Richie? Um, so to switch job. back to fighting. <laughs> No, we're talking about music. <laughs> Why are we talking about music? Okay, listen, this isn't a show like about just fighting. I guess. We're just flowing. Fighting bars. Yeah. Go. Fighting bar, interesting. What do you I listen to? He's in I listen to whatever. Anyway. Listen to Daddy Yankee? I listen to Daddy Yankee. Of course he does. He came Puerto out Rico. to Gasolina, didn't you? Yeah, that's Puerto Rico. song. That that's his song. Yeah, he comes out to Gasolina. What? <laughs> 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 yeah, I got so many. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is? That's yeah. the majority the of what I listen to. Yeah. Anyways. I, uh, Actually, you, got so you come out to Gasolina. Do you come out every time to Gasolina? Yeah, I do when they let me pick a song, but in my last few fights, since it's on TV, they don't let me pick. So uh, he, had to throw, okay. he had to throw that in there. Uh -oh. um, so you said you'd come out to ship it out to Boston. Do you, have you even thought about a music song yet? Yeah, I'm probably going to do uh, All of the Above by me. It's kind of like one of my oh, best friends can pick the song, so it's one I'll do. It should be good. <laughs> All right. I don't even know what that is, so. Uh, yeah, it's a good song. All right, cool. Uh, Andy, what did you come out to? Uh, Sit down. Stop getting the lollipops at the doctor's office. Well, I came out to uh, Ecstasy of Gold from the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly soundtrack. Way back oh, in the yeah. day, I remember that. Uh, pretty, it was pretty sweet. Yeah. No, was pretty I don't know what that is either. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Sing it for me. You sang, no you sang Meatloaf. Yeah, yeah, well, there's no word. There's no, no words to it. So, so what's the instrumental? No, <laughs> no. Oh, I wanted you to you sing it. That's go. part of the fun. Can't do that. You gotta pull off YouTube. Alright, fine. It's on uh, Spotify. I, I, think, I don't even know what I came out to. I came out to uh, actually Method Man and Red Man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Method Man and Red Man, uh, the Rock Wilder. I came out to that. Um, I think I came out to uh, Fort Minor once. I, think, uh, I can't even remember the song. I don't know. Anywho. Yeah. Alright, so, what else? Saturday morning, I'm too sober for this one. Way too sober. Usually, like a, a whole pitcher of beer in and a couple shots. Yeah. Oh. Now, now, you, now you're getting uh, drunk on dum dums. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Could get a little bit of a sugar rush or something. <laughs> Lucky you. One, huh? thing, one thing I drink faster than beer is coffee. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Aaron, what's some advice that you've given your teammate for his first time stepping in the case since you've been there before? Great question. Um, he I'm trying to do your job I for mean, you, uh, you know. Can't do it sober. <laughs> He's actually been competing longer than I've been competing, so I don't think he needs any advice from me, to be 100% honest. Yeah, I was gonna say, how many fights have you had before this match? I've had like uh, four kickboxing fights. I went undefeated in kickboxing, state like went into like state championships for wrestling and stuff like that, and uh, a couple jujitsu tournaments did really well in. But now I'm 18, so I can really fight now. So right, that's that's what I'm doing. That's the plan. Have you ever gotten a like any instance where you've been in school? Not no. that we condone this and somebody like try to step to you and fight you. Not no, like when I was younger. You have, I was, all right, let him finish and then we'll go to you. I got. I had like this. a like a temper, but like as I got to high school and I was like a small kid, I never got to anything. Yeah. Most people know I fight, like all right. just because like social media and stuff like that. So and I'm a pretty chill dude, so people just like kind of leave me alone. Yeah. So I don't really get into anything. Could you imagine that? Like back in the day, like when I was in school, it's like yeah, you want know to I mean? back, you know, back uh, place and would fight, and it was it was one thing. You didn't have to worry about it, but here, like. You might get a guy like this and like, oh, let's meet at the playground. And everybody exactly. circles around and it's like, kid double legs you and elbows you in the face. Because there's less than my left leg goes. <laughs> I think I can take him. Yeah. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. My boxing coach is my security guard at school. He's one of oh, my okay. security guards. So he sees me like walk around school and he's like, he, think, he tells me all the time, he thinks it's so funny how I just, I'm like the smallest dude, just walk around and just so calm and all these like bigger dudes. And, Everybody's they walk on the other side of the <laughs> <laughs> All right, Richie, you got to tell us. No, I'm not, I'm, I, I was saying I condone it, but... <laughs> oh, you condone it. No. I thought you meant that But, you... yeah, I was the same way. Like, people knew, like, I was, like, captain of the wrestling team and stuff. Like, even though I was small, like, nobody really, like... I never got into fights or nothing. No. 
And he, uh, now that you're 21, have you ever gotten a scenario like at a bar or anything like that where somebody? I've like, had to like help friends, but I've never been in a situation where someone's trying to fight me. But no. like, you know, I've cleared out situations. Uh, were you like, Andy? Andy? I've never assaulted anybody that didn't sign a waiver. Aaron? Never been in a street fight, so. No. Right. Boring people. Good, good, good. On that note, I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. So yeah. <laughs> We're going to wrap up segment one. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. We're back for segment two. We got Man Down and Chris OB coming on here at Media Day, Sober Day, whatever. We'll make it work. We'll be back in a minute.